you are watching Redicon. This is a chest X-ray in a 55 years old male patient which shows typical findings of a mild viral illness. There are early perihilar infiltrates with peribronchial cuffing and mildly hyperinflated lungs. It is a mild case of viral illness which turned out to be COVID-19 positive. Chest X-ray in a 47 years old male patient shows typical findings of mild to moderate viral illness. There are early hyalur infiltrates with peribronchial cuffing. However, now we can see airspace shadowing in the left upper and middle zones and further changes in the lung bases as well. It is a mild to moderate case of viral illness which turned out to be COVID positive as well. This is a case of moderate viral illness in a 60 years old patient with positive COVID results. Now we can see perihilar shadowing as well as bilateral more confluent and larger ground glass changes progressing to consolidation. A special note for radiology residents, airspace opacification can be mild when we can see pulmonary vasculature and septa through it. It is called ground glass opacity. However, when it becomes more confluent and vessels are not seen through it, the opacity is called consolidation. Consolidation literally means filling up of airspace. Normally it happens in one of four cases. One, pus in the cases of pneumonia. Two, water as in pulmonary edema. Three, blood in cases of pulmonary hemorrhage. And finally, fourth, cells or soft tissues in cases of tumor. In COVID or corona imaging, it is most likely primary or secondary infective consolidation where there are some suggestion of lack of inflammatory markers maybe hinting at an alternative explanation of consolidation such as pulmonary hemorrhage. This is another case of moderate to severe illness with bilateral patchy consolidations. An 81 years old patient with severe case of COVID-19, film taken in recess with widespread consolidation in both lungs, in keeping with clinical impression of respiratory distress. Another severe case with extensive bilateral consolidation, however, care must be taken to exclude pulmonary edema. This one, however, was a 39 years old known case of COVID-19 in ICU. These chest x-rays are courtesy of Dr. Mary Roddy, consultant chest radiologist from Charing Cross Hospital, London. These were graded by consensus opinion of three thoracic radiologists. In first image on the right, a chest radiograph in a patient with COVID-19 infection demonstrates right infrahyalur airspace opacities. A subsequent CT as seen on the left side shows same patient demonstrating peripheral right lower lobe ground glass opacities. A follow-up chest CT axial images performed two days later show improvement in the extent of ground glass opacity with more subpleural calvilinear lines or atelectasis. Next case, axial chest CT image at presentation shows a small solitary nodular ground glass opacity in the left upper lobe. In the same patient, there is progression of airspace disease three days later with new foci of ground glass opacities as well as developing consolidation. There is high peripheral attenuation with ground glass opacities more centrally representing a reverse halo sign. Imaging findings of CT and X-ray can be summarized as follows. On X-ray, perihilar infiltrates, peribronchial cuffing, ground glass opacity, most likely peripheral and patchy, bronchopneumonias and robot pneumonias. On CT, ground glass opacity is almost always seen, involvement of multiple lobes with subpleural and peripheral distribution of the ground glass, consolidations, septal thickening, bronchial dilatation and wall thickening. There are certain important considerations duration of the complaints is important as it determines the age and extent of disease. The radiology report should discuss findings with chances of COVID-19 and possible differential diagnosis as 
the appearances will overlap with certain other diseases such as H1N1, viral pneumonias, organizing pneumonias, and acute interstitial pneumonitis. In addition to airway and pulmonary parenchymal changes, there are secondary findings worth noting. In this case of a 57 years old man with COVID-19 pneumonia, coronal MIP slab of CT pulmonary angiogram shows multiple bilateral filling defects involving lobar, segmental, and subsegmental branches of pulmonary artery in keeping with pulmonary embolism. This video is presented in collaboration with Radicon Institute of Radiology. You are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for updates. For more modules in radiology CMEs, please visit our website www.radicon.org.